Good morning, everyone. Very warm welcome to today's webinar. My name is Michael. Uh, I work here as a learning facilitator here at TH, and I'm going to be your, your host for uh, this morning's session. So today we're delighted to introduce you to our webinar for getting started with Copilot in Sage Accounting. Let's take a look at what we'll be covering in this webinar. We'll start with a brief introduction to Copilot and then dive into a series of demonstrations that cover the key aspects. We've got some short videos available that will demonstrate these features and their benefits. And please bear in mind that Copilot is constantly being developed. We'll then end today's webinar with an outline of the further support that's available to help you get the most from Copilot and Sage Accounting. Let's start with a brief introduction to Sage Copilot. We're excited about the opportunity that Copilot presents as we believe it will revolutionise how you do business. You'll be aware that we're moving into a new business era powered by AI, but Copilot isn't just an AI feature. It's a commitment from us at Sage that we're building a future where you, as business owners, can focus on your goals, supported by AI you can trust. With Sage Copilot as another member of your team, you'll be able to get so much more done so you can spend that freed up time on things that matter the most to you and your business. So think of Copilot as a digital sidekick that's available to help you do more. Now, Sage Copilot is going to help you automate those, those mundane day-to-day -day tasks. It helps you to make faster, smarter decisions by getting straight to the answers you need and proactively making suggestions so you're always one step ahead. So there's... Sorry, uh, Copilot is going to work continuously in the background and will present you with the latest financial insights across your accounts. So you can make informed business decisions at the click of a button. Sage Copilot is going to reduce the time that you would normally waste on repetitive manual tasks. For example, you can set up automatic payment reminders and send multiple emails at once, removing some of the, that admin burden from your day to day tasks. And Copilot helps to eliminate the stress of constructing emails by producing draft professional emails when sending invoices, credit notes, quotes, invoice reminders. And you can always tweak how you want it to, to look and, and uh, the, the feel of that as well. And you'll see that in the demos as we work through uh, today's demo. When you're planning for the coming months as well, it can include cash flow improvements and flagging any potential, potential issues. Um, and it'll flag this information so you're always ahead of the game. So we already have some of our accounting customers using CH Copilot, been using it for quite some time. So these are the customers that signed up to the early adoption program and obviously we've received some feedback on there as well. So a feedback from Tracy as it, as it on the slide there. Uh, Tracy sees Copilot as another member of her team, helping her to get more jobs done and is already finding that Copilot does save her time. Holly, she's no longer sort of stitching reports together, sending emails one by one. She's able to get to answers quickly and finds it much easier to navigate to the data she needs to act on the insights provided. So that's just a, a little bit of an introduction, a little bit of background there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we'll show you it in action. So you can see how you can then benefit from, from Sage Copilot in Sage Accounting. So we'll provide a little bit more detail on those key, key options. Now we're gonna start with actionable insights. Now what I'll do is I'll introduce each of the, the key features. We'll tell you a little bit about it. Then we've got a little video for each section, uh, which will basically show you what it looks like in action. So you can see what, how, how it's gonna work in your, your Sage Accounting software. So actionable insights. So insights are found, you'll find them throughout your software. They'll give you key information about your data. and uh, They'll provide you with fast access to your accounting information, such as invoices that are due to be paid soon. Copilot seamlessly takes you to the relevant place and even filters your list for you so that you can see the exact information you want, enabling you to take action straight away. There's no need for you to navigate to the different screens manually or to look for the information. Copilot simply provides the information and takes you where you need to be. So similar to the feedback received from Tracy and Holly, it'll free up time and allows you to focus 
on the job at hand. So we'll play our first video. And again, quite short, just a couple of minutes, and it'll show you insights in action in Sage Accounting. So it should mute me out, and I'll come back to you in just a couple of minutes. Throughout Sage Accounting, you'll see this insights option. For example, in the summary and sales invoices areas. Actionable insights provide valuable information about your business and transactions. To view these, click the icon. The insights for our business show which customers are over their credit limit and two purchase invoices that are due in the next seven days. To take further action or view the information included on the insight, click the relevant one. You'll be seamlessly redirected to the appropriate area with any relevant filters already applied. You can now action these insights by arranging payment for these invoices, which are due soon. Within the sales invoices list, we have similar insights, which tell us that our invoice is due to be paid by our customers in the next seven days. You can view the invoices or send payment reminders directly from the insights by clicking the relevant option. We'll cover payment reminders a little later in the webinar. Therefore, Let's take a look at the invoices due in the next seven days. When selecting this option, our sales invoices list is automatically filtered by Copilot. This provides all requested invoices in one manageable list. Take further action and ensure payments are received by issuing customer statements or payment reminders. You can clear the filter applied by Copilot by clicking here. We also have insights showing unallocated transactions, such as credit notes and receipts. To view the unallocated transactions, simply click on the option and you'll be redirected to the relevant place. You can review the information provided and take any further action, such as allocating the unpaid credit notes to the relevant existing invoices, allocating any existing refunds or payments on account. Or if the refund transaction hasn't been created yet, you can record the refund against the credit notes, meaning the credit note is no longer outstanding on the customer account. Back in the summary tab, our insights list shows which customers are over their credit limit. To check the customer record and take further actions, such as issuing customer statements or updating an incorrect credit limit, click on the link provided here. As you can see, you also have insights for each customer record. In this example, we will update the credit limit. The credit terms can be found in the Payment Details tab. Now we've updated the credit terms for this customer, they'll no longer appear on the Insights list of customers over their credit limit. OK, I'm back live with you at that point. So that was Actionable Insights. And it's worth mentioning that Insights are basically already available in multiple areas in Sage Accounting. So these include summary page banking and within individual bank accounts, uh, quotes and estimates, sales and purchase invoices, contacts, and also customer and supplier records. As mentioned earlier, we're constantly re reviewing the feedback as well. So updating the insights, adding new insights as well throughout Sage Accounting. Next, we're gonna look at uh, emails. So with the power of AI, Sage Copilot can, can draft your emails to your customers, saving you valuable time. A Copilot can draft emails for sales documents, such as quotes and estimates, invoices, credit notes, customer statements, and also payment reminders as well. We'll touch on payment reminders in a bit as well. So you can refine the draft email by length and also tone as well. So it gives you those options. It's not just a standard email that's gonna be sent out. You can amend it if required. If you were or maybe still are doing this manually, think about the, the steps involved and also the time that it takes you to do that type of thing. Have you created your own templates that maybe you use and then, then you amend? So let's take a look at this feature in action with our second video demonstration. Let's start by drafting a sales invoice email with Copilot. When creating a sales invoice to send to your customer by email, click Save and Email. 
the option to draft with Copilot appears. When you select this option, the email is drafted for you. In this example, important information such as the date of the invoice, the total value, and the payment due date have been included in the email drafted by Copilot. If you'd like to create another, slightly different email with Copilot, you can refine the message by clicking Refine Draft. Personalize the message by changing the length of the email using this drop down. We'll choose a short email message. Choose the tone of the email by selecting one of the options in this drop down. On this occasion, we'd like our email to be informal. You can also add or remove specific data fields. To draft a new email, click Suggest New Draft. You can compare the original draft to the new one by clicking the navigation arrows at the bottom right. Refine this as many times as you'd like to find the version that suits you best. Once you're happy with the draft message created by Copilot, click Use This Draft. If you'd like, you can manually edit the email message here. Once you've finished drafting your email, send this directly to your customer by clicking Send. Remember, you can draft emails with Copilot for other sales documents such as quotes, estimates, statements and reminders. OK, welcome back. So the next feature we're going to cover is bulk payment reminders. So this is the newest of the four sort of key aspects of Copilot that we're going to be covering today. Uh, Bulk payment reminders enables you to send your payment reminders to multiple customers simultaneously, saving you valuable time. So you can control which customers you send the reminders to by simply selecting the relevant ones from your invoice list or, or using the filters provided as well. Once you've chosen which customers to send the payment reminder to, again, you can draft the email similar to what you've just seen for the, the other email section there, but it doesn't stop there. So with Copilot, you can automate this task as well by sending scheduled payment reminders for your customers. So we'll set the required criteria so that you're chasing the right customers at the right time. As for the email, just like with the other areas of Copilot, it drafts the email for you, which again, you can amend and that's it. Copilot takes care of the rest. So again, we'll play our, our third little video just to demonstrate this in action. To email payment reminders to your customers, navigate to your sales invoice list. Filter your list if needed using the date range options and more drop down. Then select the checkbox for each invoice you'd like to send a payment reminder for. In the actions toolbar, there's an option to send payment reminders with Copilot. Once selected, a new window appears. Invoices selected in the previous step are confirmed in the section at the top, along with the customer, the email address, and the option to remove the selected invoice. The subject line will automatically include the correct invoice number and due date on each individual email. Choose whether to send yourself a copy of each reminder and attach a PDF by selecting or clearing these checkboxes. Write your own generic email message here, or draft the email with Copilot. To send all reminders to the customers listed, click Send Reminders. Your email reminders have now been sent. Automate your processes further by scheduling payment reminders to send automatically. To do this, go to Settings and then click Business Settings. Click Automatic Payment Reminders. Then use this slider to switch on the functionality and set your specific reminder preferences. First, add a minimum invoice value. If the invoice value is less than this, a reminder will not be issued. Then, enter how many days before or after the invoice due date you'd like the automatic reminders to be sent. The subject line will automatically include the correct details on each email. Choose whether to send yourself a copy of each reminder and attach a PDF by selecting or clearing these checkboxes. A default email message is created for you and will include the correct details on each individual email. If you'd like to edit this message, 
draft your own email manually, or draft this with Copilot. Once you're happy with the settings and you're ready to set up automated payment reminders, click Save. The payment reminders will be sent at 6 a.m. UTC time on the relevant day based on the settings entered. Now, one of the, the common questions we always get asked about is how do we protect and secure your data? We know how important that is. So to help ease any concerns you might have, uh, obviously security is at the heart of everything we do. And obviously that includes our AI strategy as well. So we employ robust encryption and compliance with the latest data protection regulations to ensure your information is secure and obviously private as well. We continuously improve Sage Copilot and you'll receive regular updates to ensure your business stays ahead with the latest AI technology. If you need any support or just want to develop your knowledge of Sage Accounting and Copilot, then Sage University is a great place to start. Our learning hub includes loads of great free resources, including e-learns and bite-sized videos to help. We also host our videos that cover the latest features in Copilot, helping you to keep up to date and to get the most from your software. Right, now a bit of a whirlwind tour, that, but that does bring us to the end of uh, this morning's session. So just want to quickly take the opportunity to thank you for coming along this morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's given you a little bit of an insight. Remember the, the recording will be included on the follow-up email, but once you've got that available, so if you're still wondering and thinking, well, I still haven't got that yet, how to access this? It may not have been enabled on your account just yet, but you will receive uh, a notification from us when that has been done. And it's just a case of watching out for it. So it should be done within the next few weeks. That's what we're expecting. Now, as you leave today's session, there will be a little survey pop up. So if you can take a minute to complete that, it'd be greatly appreciated. We love reading those comments to see if we've hit the mark or not. Uh, if you've got any thoughts and ideas that you'd like to share with us though, surrounding the webinars, pop it on there. Your follow-up email, which does contain the link to the recording, will be with you in round about the next hour or so. So do watch out for that. So if you need that bit of a recap, you'll have that available. Right, we don't have any outstanding questions just at that point. If you think of anything, do get in touch. Uh, but we'll end the webinar just at that point. So many thanks for coming along. Take care. And hopefully we'll see you on some other webinars soon. Many thanks.